In this video, I'm talking all about this awesome Adobe After Effects plugin called AE Juice. So let's get into it. So AE Juice is this incredible plugin that works directly with Adobe After Effects and as well as Adobe Premiere Pro, but we're gonna talk all about After Effects today. So we're inside of Adobe After Effects and I'm gonna go to the AE Juice Pack Manager 3. And as you can see, we've got all of these different packs. So we've got Connected Typography, Cyberpunk, Seamless Transitions, Liquid Elements, Animated Emoji, Cosmic Animation, and there are so many more. Now, let's just first jump into Kinetic Typography. So we're gonna double click on this. And as you can see, we've got all of these awesome presets. So I'm just gonna select this option here, or we'll press Import. And as you can see, that has imported a composition onto the timeline. But how do we change this text from power to whatever we want it to say? Well, we double click on the composition. And as you can see, we've got controls, and this is gonna change the colors. And then we've also got the text itself. So we can change the text by clicking in this and we can just put Brooker. And as you can see, power has now turned into Brooker. So that is an amazing kinetic typography plugin that comes with this pack. Now that was really simple to import and change the text on. If I wanted to change the colors, I could just go into controls and I can just change all of the colors like this. So I'll drag the blue up to red. We'll change the red to yellow. And that's really gonna change the look of the effect, as you can see. So that was a really quick and easy way of adding kinetic typography into our composition. But what if we want something different to kinetic typography? Well, we'll go back to our composition. We'll delete that. We'll go back into the pack manager but let's ignore the kinetic typography for now. We'll go back into the main menu. And moving on, we've got Cyberpunk HUD. So we'll double click on this. Now in this menu, you can see we've got all of these different folders. But if you see, if I just hover over one of these, you can see how awesome this looks. And of course, if we click on the folders, it's gonna scroll down to each individual folder. We've got the sounds, we've got text animations. So I'm gonna import this. I'm gonna select this one import this into our composition. And now the same thing as before, if we wanted to change the text, we can just go into that composition. And then we go into text. And you can see we can change each individual text layer. So we'll put text one, Brooker. Second one can be films. And if we go back to the main composition, that's going to change that text animation from whatever it was before into Brooker films. That looks amazing. So moving on, we're going to go back into the pack manager and we'll go over to the main menu one more time. And as you can see, we've got all of these other amazing packs. So we've got these seamless transitions, liquid elements, we've got animated emoji and the animated emoji pack is really awesome. As you can see, we've got all of these hilarious small animated emojis. Let's import this party emoji into our composition. So we'll just click it press import, that's going to import into our sequence. And the great thing is this works really well with Adobe After Effects. So because this is imported into a composition, this is working as a single layer. So we can go into our transform tab. We can change the scale of this. We can change the position of this. We can change the rotation. And of course, because it is a layer as well, we can turn the motion blur on. And that means if we add any sort of animation to this, then it's going to add the motion blur to the animation of this specific layer. So as you can see, it works really well with Adobe After Effects. Now moving on, we've got shape elements and this one is really awesome as well. So as you can see, we've got these cubes and if we go down all of the different folders on the left hand side, you can see we've got all of these different animations. So we've got this arrow here, we've got these circles, this is going to be really awesome in your composition. We've got energy, fireworks, formulas, hand-drawn characters. We've got specific hand animations. Then we've got these hexagons. Now there's just a massive list of these, but if you wanted to import these, you just import like that. And that's how that looks. Obviously we can increase the scale of this to make this bigger. 
Now that looks great as it is, but we can go ahead and we can change the settings of this when you import. So we'll select this layer here. We'll go down to the settings icon. So that's the little gear icon. And as you can see, we've got all of these different style elements that we can add to this image here. So I can make this normal. I can add a drop shadow. I can add a glow. I can add a pixelated effect, a dust effect, a more extreme dust effect, and all of these other options. But if we select the glow animation style, we'll press OK and import. That's going to import that hexagon. But this time, it's going to have this glow animation to it. So if we play this back, the one on the left was the first import. The one on the right is the second import. And the one on the right has got this glow effect applied to it. Now, moving on, we'll go to the text presets folder. And as you can see in this text presets folder, we've got some amazing animation happening to our text. Now, in this text animation folder, we've got 40 characters. We've got eight lines and 37 word presets. So if we go to the characters and we select this first one, we'll press import. It says, please select text layer first. So we'll just delete our hexagons for now. We'll go ahead and create a new title. We'll increase the size of this and then we'll load up the proportional grid and place this roughly in the middle. Now, if we go back to the AE Juice Pack Manager, we can import that and it's going to import onto our text layer. So you can see we've got our in point and our out point. So if we play this from the very beginning, you can see we've got this really awesome text animation happening. And of course, if I was to do that on my own without the AE Juice Pack, that would take me at least half an hour to do that one simple effect. So this pack is really amazing because it's giving you all of these different animations and these assets that are really going to help to improve your composition in After Effects, but it's also going to help to save you an absolute world of time. Now, if you're interested in the AE Juice pack, then they do have a free pack available for you to download. As you can see, this is the starter pack. This is all completely free to download. You have a few liquid elements. You have some slides. You've got a whiteboard animation. You've got your liquid transitions. This is here. You've got the shape elements. So you've got this arrow animation and a bunch of others. You've got text animation, monster transitions. These are amazing and these are a very creative transition. We've got these flat icon animations. So you can see we've got this money one and this location one. We've got shape elements and we've also got motion cafe UI. Of course, though, the free pack is limited. You do get a wide array of animations and presets and assets, but it is limited. So if you want any of these packs in full or if you want absolutely everything, then just go to the link in the description below. That will take you to the AE Juice website and you can go ahead and purchase one of their packs. I honestly would recommend it to anybody that spends any time editing. I've only been using AE Juice for a few weeks now, but I can already tell you that it has A, improved my work and B, helped to speed up my editing time. I'm no longer spending an hour or two hours or three hours working on a title animation. I just drag and drop it right into After Effects and then I can link that into Premiere to add it on top of my videos. And there you go. Thank you for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and I will see you in the next video. See you there.